We are visiting today a 31 meter gullet that was built in 2008. She is now offered for sale from her second owner. This boat has five cabins for 10 guests and accommodation for six crew. She is powered by two Iveco engines, each with 243 kilowatts. That's 200, that's 325 horsepower. Uh, we are going to make a full walkthrough video on this boat today. Now this video is going to be pretty long, so if you want to skip from one part of the video to another, use the chapters at the video description below. You will also find a link to the yacht page at the video description below, and by clicking it you will see photos, specification list and additional information. So we are starting the video today directly from the pontoon and we will climb on this passerelle. It's a hang passerelle which is uh, hanged on a halyard from the uh, Mizan mast. Now you can already see the hard top uh, which is part of it is soft with fabric and part of it is made from hard material. It's a huge hard top which provide a lot of shading. Uh, there are four panels, solar panels on the top of it. Let's have a quick look first at this huge aft deck. We have some uh, sunbathing area here at the aft. And just in front of us, there is a generous seating area that will seat 10 people all around, right here. Let's move from the port side further forward. This is the fore side of it, kind of a bar stools and a bar. This is the helm station, the external helm station. Pretty simple, but it has everything uh, that the captain needs to navigate this boat. Throttles, engine indicators, and a small screen from Garmin for navigation. Now you can see the solar panels right here on the coach roof. Just behind me, there is a big fridge from Beko, this one, and the bar area which this is the point where the crew is serving the guests. Slightly different angle, astern. And we will proceed forward to make a quick tour on the decks. The boat is uh, all varnished. Very nice work, uh, woodwork all around. You will see the same themes as we go inside. There is a hanging ladder here, a swimming ladder. And we proceed forward. At the moment, the cushions are stored in one of the cabins, but there is a huge sun bathing area here uh, on, on the deck areas. Moving further forward, You can already see the bowsprit and the windlass. There is a massive windlass here from Data. There are two anchors here, one connected to a 100 meter chain and the other one is 150 meter chain and the anchor's weight are 150 kilograms. Turning the camera, looking astern, you can see this beautiful sitting area here on the bow and we can have a quick look at the masts. Now, we will uh, walk astern back and we will check the interior part of the boat. boat has a three, sorry, 7.2 meter beam and you can see it, uh, we can see how generous the deck areas are as well as the interior which we will see very soon. 
two stairs up to the aft deck. We are back at the aft deck, sharp to right. And this is the entrance to the interior. And we will step inside and let's check the interior part. So three stairs down, we can see uh, the, the bar inside and the salon. And then again, in the salon, there is a place that will sit 10 guests around right here. And we are moving forward to check the pilot house or the helm station, the interior helm station, which is uh, somehow more equipped than the one uh, which, are, which is the external. So we can see the two Iveco indicators here, uh, autopilot from Feruno and a big screen from Feruno. Now the radar is working and the chart plotter. The other side has the throttles <coughs> here and underneath we can see all the electrical panels. So we will start by uh, by uh, exploring the aft part of the boat, turning the camera, it's a good chance to see the dining area, the interior dining area from a different angle. The woodwork is beautiful on this boat. TV just in front of the camera. Beautiful woodwork. And we are going down seven stairs now, this is the aft part of the boat, and it has three guest cabins. And so there are two twin cabins here, one here and one here. We will explore them in details. But the first cabin for today will be the master cabin, which is full beam aft, separated by this door that we are just passing. And here we are. It's a beautiful master cabin, warm atmosphere with all this wood around, sitting places in both sides in the corners. This is the port side. Another one here on the starboard side. Now the ensuite is located at the fore part of the cabin. Here we have a sink and shower. Let's turn the camera and watch this master cabin from a different angle. And we will move to the port side and on the port side four of this cabin we will find the toilet and another sink. Last look at the master cabin. And we are moving forward outside of this cabin through the corridor. And let's check the port side guest cabin. It is a very spacious cabin with two full size bed with good uh, height of the ceiling. And it has its own suite. Just here, toilet and sink. And a full size shower, which is uh, furnished with gray marble. Going back into the cabin, And from here, we go out, cross the corridor, and we will visit the identical uh, twin cabin, which somehow uh, some of the cushions from the deck are stored here on one of the beds, so we cannot see the full volume of it, but it is identical to the cabin that we just saw. 
same arrangement of the toilet and the shower and we will proceed from here back to the salon climbing back to the main deck Crossing the salon forward, it's a good chance to see uh, all the window openings. Some of them are can be opened for fresh air, as you see here, right here. And we are moving forward. Again, few stairs down. Now. There are two crew cabins here, which are located in this corridor. This one is the captain cabin with very large bed, an additional bank above it, which can accommodate another uh, crew member if necessary, but mainly used for storage of stuff. The other side, there is another crew cabin, which normally the hostess female uh, is located here, Again, it's the same arrangement, the same size of cabin with another bank at the top. Now, if you have a small crew, this cabin will, these cabins will be the number uh, five and six, sorry, the six and seven cabins. It has a uh, ensuite, both of them, same arrangement at the captain's cabin. And we are moving further forward and you can already see the arrangement which is two double cabins the camera now shows both cabins together and we will start with the starboard cabin which is this one it's again a huge cabin uh, with full uh, size bed double bed and seating arrangement here forward and the ensuite right here toilets toilet is here on the right sink and shower turning the camera back looking into the cabin and there is a tv here on the wall facing the bed the uh, the ceiling space here is really high and this enhanced the feeling of volume and space which is quite pleasant the next cabin is identical to the one we saw again this double bed very large uh, double uh, bed seating arrangement there is a, a wardrobe here and actually the, the volume of the cabin allows, if necessary, to add more, uh, more storage place, for example, in this area um, or in this corner, the, the whole uh, storage place can be extended if it's needed. And this is the ensuite of this cabin. Okay, coming back into the cabin, from here we will make our way out back to the corridor, climbing back to the main deck, and we will go to explore the last part of this boat, which is the bar, the galley, and the engine room. Back into the salon, moving astern, we are taking a sharp left and this is the bar which is served the salon long bar underneath there is a dishwasher commercial dishwasher with a very fast cycle of uh, three or four minutes sink another fridge here for beverages 
and some uh, loose machines like coffee machines and ice maker. And we are going down to check the galley and the engine room. And here we are in the galley. It's a well equipped galley. Let me show you some of the items that is serving the cook here. Well, this is not serving the cook, but this is the Bosch uh, washing machine. Uh, some uh, working surfaces here, sink, gas stove, underneath there is an oven. Here on my right there is a big freeze from Ur. High capacity and small fridge here, down here. And again to my right there is a dishwasher from Profilio. There is another huge uh, dishwasher uh, in the bar as we saw before. Small uh, crew pantry. The, the team can have a bite here and rest. Let's have a let's turn the camera and see this galley from the other side. This is how it looks. And on the far end of the camera there is another uh, custom built stainless steel fridge uh, which stores most of the products. Let's have a quick look there. It is un behind, just behind this uh, stainless steel door. At my left there is a big in, uh, inverter and a battery charger from Victron. Now let's go and check the last part of our video today which is the engine room. Watertight door. And here we are. in the engine room. Let's have a quick look around first. So there are two man engines here, each with 325 horsepower. Uh, at the moment they have about 4,900 running hours. Moving inside, two generators from Cummins Onan, 27 kilowatts here and 22 kilowatts. Both generators ha has been totally overhauled uh, on March 2022. After the overall, they have approximately 1,000 hours. Zero salt water maker. Uh, it is producing approximately 200 liter per hour. So it's a pretty much a simple engine room. Very good accessibility to all the systems. Uh, the fuel tanks are located in both sides, 2,000 liters here and 2,000 liters on the other side. And that's about it. A little bit of uh, extinguishing material tank here, water pumps down here below. That was the engine room. So we are making our way. Uh, let me remind you that if you want to learn more about this boat, visit her webpage by using the link at the video description below um, or click the card at the top part of the screen.